So I have new toys here on my desk today. I received here the new Verdin, the new computer model from Toradex, the Verdin IMX 8 Mini, and also the Verdin development board. And I want to show you. If you want to know more about Verdin, stay with me. Hey guys, Matheus Castello here, and if you don't know me, I'm a better software engineer and kernel Linux developer. And on my spare time, I like to share the knowledge, share uh, about the embedded systems, microcontroller systems, embedded Linux, um, Linux in general, um, Windows subsystem for Linux, for example, here on this YouTube channel. So if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. With this said, let's go to the verdict. Okay, so let's take a look here on the pieces, right? I have here the new computer model, right? The Verdin IMX 8 Mini. I open it later to show you with more details. Also, it comes with a power connector and some screws. These screws are for the Verdin DSI to HDMI adapter. I will um, show you with more details later. And here, the big Verlin development board, right? Very complete uh, development board for the Verlin family. So let's take a look more close to the pieces here. Let's begin with uh, the Verlin IMX 8 Mini. Okay, so let's open it. Let's remove here um, the electrostatic bag. And it's here, the new Verdin IMX 8 Mini from Turadex. Cool. The idea of the Verdin is the same idea from the Colibri form factor, right? A more uh, compact form factor. Uh, for example, I have here one Colibri. Let me put it together. It's here. The Colibri IMX 8 and the Verdi IMX 8 Mini. As you can see, in size, they are very close, right? Uh, the Verdi form factor is a bit smaller, but they are very close. The idea is the same. We have uh, a more compact uh, form factor. But the Colibri has 200 pins, is an edge connector with 200 pins, and the Verdin has 260 pins because the Verdin was designed to be uh, more modern, right? The Verdin has support for uh, the modern high speed interfaces, right? Cool. Uh, let's take a look more closely to the main components of the Verdin. Okay, so let's begin with the processor, the main component of our model. Uh, here we have an NXP IMX8 Mini. It comes with a um, quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 ARM V8 64-bit architecture, right? Um, also, we have here ARM Cortex-N4 microcontroller and a 3D GPU. Here we have the RAM memory, 2 GB of LPDDR4. More here on the top we have the PMIC, the Power Management Integrated Circuit, and this guy is optimal for um, batteries, so if you want to power supply your model with batteries, this guy is ready for this, right? Here we have the Gigabit chip, the Gigabit Ethernet chip, uh, the pins, the edge connector pins here. Uh, here we have the dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5 on the model, already on the model, right? On the back we have uh, the storage memory. 16 gigabytes of flash memory MMC on this guy here and also we have on the model a CAN controller this guy 
and it's it. The main components of our um, Verding IMX is mini computer on model. Other facts to highlight here about the Verding is the input voltage range, right? Uh, it supports 3.3 to 5 volts as input voltage and also the IO voltage level. It supports 1.8 uh, volts as IO voltage level, right? Also, I leave it here on the description of this video um, the website, the Turandex website link with all the specs and technical content about the IMX A Mini, right? So check it out. And the last but not least, the wording and development board. Let's take a close look here. Okay, so here we have the SOD uh, connector. Let's put the wording model here. Okay, and it's it, it's connected. And uh, the wording IMX A Mini on the wording uh, development board, right? This board is a very complete development board. We have almost all the signals, the, all the sodium um, signals exported here uh, to you evaluate uh, the wording models, right? Uh, GPIOs, I2C, uh, SPI, uh, we can see here on the header uh, the sodium signal uh, described. Uh, okay, we have uh, some interfaces already implemented here um, dual Ethernet, USB, uh, 3 wo uh, USB OTJ, serial interfaces, HDMI, uh, CAM. The IMX8 Mini uh, don't have support to the HDMI port, but the Verdin um, format, the Verdin standard has uh, these pins um, reserved to HDMI, okay? So we have here the HDMI and for the, uh, the Verdin IMX 8 Mini, we have the uh, DSI to HDMI adapter, right? We can use this here. I have here is this guy here. Uh, this is the adapter, right? Uh, the DSI to HDMI adapter, right? So we can put it on the development board right here and it's done, okay? So now we can uh, use here uh, the Verding IMX 8 Mini with um, HDMI, okay? Okay, so I think this is it about the wording for now. In this video, you only show the hardware side to maintain the video short, right? But in the next video, I want to boot up uh, this beauty to show you the software stack, the bootloader, the BSP, uh, the new Toradex Horizon a Linux uh, distribution running on the wording. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notifications uh, for the next video, right? So it's it. I really hope you liked this content. And what did you think about the wording, the new wording uh, form factor, the wording IMX 8 mini, and the wording development board? Um, leave here on the comments below. Uh, I would love to know what are you thinking about it. So it's it. Thanks and see you on the next video.